Hey there everybody, I'm Dave Brooks with Dave Brooks Artist Development and TheVocalTeacher.com and today I want to pick up where I left off on one of my last video blogs and that is, uh, I think my last, or one of my last video blogs was finding your niche uh, more of a genre thing, finding out where you belong within a, uh, a certain genre I want to backtrack though, sometimes I'll get ahead of myself and that's okay but I want to backtrack, and before you can even do that, you deserve to know who you are as an artist. Meaning that you, you deserve to be willing to paint. Understand, it doesn't matter what you're painting as long as you are painting. Because the more you paint, the better you're going to get. The more comfortable you're going to, to be with the process of painting. So, I get this question just about every week, from new clients especially. And that question is, how do I do that? How do I find out who I am as an artist? What are the biggest things I can do, the most important aspects of doing that? What are they? Well, I can tell you with powerful certainty that I know for sure what number one is. And that is know your voice. Know who you are as a technical vocalist, meaning know what you're capable of. Power. Control, grace, stamina, all range. All of these aspects are so important when it comes to uh, vanquishing or, or, or just squashing inhibitions. When it comes to songwriting, when it comes to being an artist, because if you don't understand who you are as a vocalist, you don't, you don't, or you're feeling uncomfortable when you sing, or you're just have a limited range, you're going to be limited in the way that you write. You're going to think with limitations. What I mean by that is everyone has limitations but you're going to think with a lot of them. Your ceiling will be here when it could be here. So know your voice. Know what's underneath the hood and uh, find a good coach. Figure that out. And you'll be on your way. Now, the next uh, a couple of series of characteristics um, are in no particular order. They are all pretty much the same uh, as in, in, in importance. But uh, for the sake of numbering, here we go. Number two, stay creative. Be creative. Step outside your comfort zone. Write, 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 write. Write your feelings down. And let me tell you, if you're approaching songwriting by trying to write with A, B, or A, A, or, or whatever rhyme scheme, or trying to write a song with something that rhymes right off the bat, you're missing the whole point. Write down your feelings, things that you are passionate about, like journaling. Being, uh, writing in a journal every day is an excellent way to get those creative juices flowing and get you feeling good about emoting, about writing your feelings down. You'd be surprised what comes out when you do that. The more you do it, the more you want to do it, the more you do it, the more creative you become. And it's just an amazing process. So, <coughs> excuse me, write, write, write. Number three, take a stand on your beliefs, people. Don't ride the fence. Don't ride the fence. Whatever you're passionate about, and I always tell my clients when they're beginning the writing process, take at least five topics, five different topics, and write them down on a piece of paper. Topics that you are very passionate about, that you are pro or against or both but are passionate about nonetheless. Write down those topics. Under each topic, write down what you feel about those topics, how you feel about that, your beliefs on those topics, your opinions based on person place, based on your, just your emotions, but write down what you feel about those topics. Great way to start that whole writing process off. Take a stand on your beliefs and take a side and start writing this stuff down. Number four, be consistent with this, folks. Anything, anything worthwhile and anything that you're ultimately going to succeed in or at is going to be something that you devoted a consistent amount of time to. So, like anything else, get in the habit of staying creative. Get in the habit of writing. Be consistent. Do it every day. Journal every day. Because journals end up being fodder the, the content within journals fodder for writing incredible songs. Okay? So, take a stand, 
on your beliefs, take a side, be consistent, that's number four, be consistent, do it every day, uh, and just stay passionate. Number five, uh, self-discovery. Let's talk about that for a second. Self-discovery is not a trip down to your local library. You understand? Self-discovery is a journey. It's a journey, and it takes time. It takes a lifetime. So, be patient. Understand that life is a series of experiences and a succession of moments. And we should be willing and desirous to live each one of them. So make sure, self-discovery, understand, be patient, love yourself, be willing to stay on that path. And, and let me tell you something, folks, progression, progress is inevitable. If, you, if you're breathing, walking around, you've got a life, you're going to progress, whether you like it or not. We either learn from our mistakes right away, or we learn later. But sooner or later, we're going to learn. So, self-discovery is a huge part of finding out who you are as a songwriter. Who, who am I? What are my belief systems? As you grow older, beliefs change. Beliefs change. And so, you want to stay creative. You want to stay consistent. Um, let's go back to them again. Know your voice, number one. Stay creative. Write, 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 write. But stay creative. Take a stand on your beliefs. Whatever those beliefs are, man, you stick with them. Pick a side. Write it down. Pick five topics, at least, that you're excited about. Write those topics down. And then under each topic, write it until your hand hurts. Great material. Don't try to worry about rhyming or clever hooks. Man, it doesn't work that way, especially for the novice songwriter. Be willing to put your time in on this, folks, because it's worth it. Uh, be consistent. Stay passionate, but be consistent with that passion every day. Make it a part of your daily routine. They say a habit is formed, I don't know, uh, every 28, 30 days. If you stick with something long enough, you're just going to do it. So stay consistent. And number five, Make sure you understand self-discovery and be willing to accept. Self-discovery is a journey, and it takes time to uh, figure who you are out. So be willing to do that. Be, be excited for that. And I can guarantee you, you do all those things, you will be well on your way to figuring out who you are as an artist. I promise you. But number one, know your voice. Know your voice. Come see me.